Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Jason Hawes. I'm a 16-time Golden Mask Award winner. And I'm here to share with you some tips on how to act with Jason Hawes. Oh, hey students. Oh, look out! <laughs> Did I scare you? Well, don't worry. I didn't really have a ball. I was just pantomiming. And this was a test. Although, you shouldn't have been scared anyway because you're looking at a screen and the ball would have just hit the camera. So, this was an intelligence test as well. <laughs> pantomiming is when an actor interacts with a pretend object. It's especially helpful if the theater doesn't have much of a props budget. But let's get serious because acting is serious. Sometimes on stage, you'll need to pretend to interact with objects that aren't really there. This can be especially difficult for some of you younger actors that haven't done nearly as many plays as me. <laughs> I've seriously done like 32. Step one is to visualize. Think of it like Photoshop. I'm taking my actual vision and Photoshopping a ball into my hand using my mind. It's incredibly difficult. Step two is to visualize. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, isn't that step one? And it is. But see, in step two, you don't only visualize the ball in your hand, you visualize the ball everywhere. The ball is on the chair, it's on the couch, it's in the fireplace, it's on top of this vase, it's, it's over here in this bowl, it's in the bag. I'm visual, I can't even see it in the bag, but I'm visualizing that it's in the bag. Look, I'm visualizing that I'm walking on a giant ball right now as we speak. If done correctly, it should be absolutely terrifying. But visualizing your object everywhere makes your interaction with that object a lot more real. Step three is to interact. Now that the object that you're visualizing has completely taken over your mind, you can do the thing that you're supposed to do. If it's a cup, take a sip. If it's a cane, walk with it. The only thing that's really hard is if the object is a human hand, because I'm already looking at a human hand. It's really hard to visualize a hand in a hand. Thankfully, that doesn't come up very often. Anyway. I can make it look really realistic, even though I'm not holding anything. And that's because I'm using the double visualization method and allowing the object to completely take over my mind. And one last tip. It can be very dangerous allowing an object to take over your mind. Yes, it's incredibly helpful on stage. But if you can't stop thinking about the object, it can be bad. One time in my younger years, I. I had to pretend to answer a phone, and I went way too deep into the method. And I started seeing phones everywhere. You know, phones growing on trees, phones coming out of cars. Even my own wife turned into a five foot, six inch phone. Couldn't sleep for a week. I had to purge my life of phones. I haven't seen a phone in six years. I don't even remember what they look like what they're for. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. And feel free to comment if you'd like to see us tackle a particular technique in a future episode. Also, remember to come to a show at Harlequin Productions and support Real Live.